Hello everyone and welcome to day 13 of Vita and I'm coming at you live. Well not exactly live, but close to it. Um, a lot of these videos, side note, I pre-filmed and like, have pre-uploaded and everything just because I knew school would be starting and it would be stressful. So this one is actually filming on the day it's being uploaded. And yeah, it's day 13, it was my first day of school, and what I just have planned for this video is to kind of go over what my senior classes are and how I feel about them going into day one. So first off, here's my outfit, if you can see. Let me like stand up. It looked cuter this morning when I wasn't sweating and sitting in the parking lot for like 30 minutes. But you know, it's fine. Put this in my Marisa's haul on my blog. It's just this teal cardigan, this like tank toppy thing that I couldn't actually wear just as a tank top, and then some shorts from Marisa's too. I had this necklace on, but I took it off, sorry. And of course, my hair again looked way better this morning than it does probably now. And my makeup also probably looked way better and it's probably all sweated off by now. But you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and get started on my classes. So, I have seven classes. I made a mistake in my back to school haul. I have seven classes, not six. Next semester I will have six. But anyway, okay. So first off, my first hour, I have personal finance. I'm not going to say the teachers because... That would be weird. So the first day of school is never that exciting just because you're going through all the syllabuses and you have to like, get forms signed and just an overview of each class, but like I'll get tell you like, the feel of each class I have. So personal finance is fine. Usually, generally, they want you to take personal finance as a junior. I just do not have room in my schedule. So basically it's a lot of juniors, but it's fine. I need to graduate, so I'll, it'll be fine. I think I like my teacher. She's in the business program, so she understands like where I'm coming from because I'm in marketing and stuff. Second hour is general music, and I also need this class to graduate. Yeah, uh, I should have taken. I was I was going to take theater freshman year, but then I realized no, I cannot take theater, and so I switched out of it. And so I need general music, which is a fine art credit to graduate. So I'm stuck taking it, and there's a lot of freshmen. I kind of expected that too because freshmen want to get it out of the way, which I should have done. And it's not too complicated. I just, I don't care about music. Like, I care about my music that I listen to. But, like, they do, like, weekly, Wednesday, like, everyone, like, draw a name out of a hat and you get to pick a song for everyone to listen to. I don't want other people to listen to my music. I like my music and I don't need people to judge me for my music. And so, the class is just kind of, it's just going to be bleh, basically. Um, we have to attend, like, four concerts a year of, to support the band and give a critique and review about it. And it just, it's a lot of busy work and it's just stupid that you need it to graduate because I don't feel like a fine art personally need, will affect me that much. Like, my general music class, that little year, or that little one hour block of general music will not affect my entire life. Whatever. Moving on, we don't have a third hour. Third hour is academic intervention, which we have once... A, we only have academic intervention on Wednesday, so ignore my schedule. So I skipped third hour, I go straight to fourth hour. But for your sake, so fourth hour, I have newspaper, which obviously I love. It was so weird though, not having like my senior friends with me, like not having Claude, Danielle, Ronnie, Dustin, or anyone, it's just weird. Weird, it's so weird. Uh, there's only like nine of us or ten of us in the class and this year, and it's just so much smaller, it's just different. It's not bad, it's just different. So I obviously love my newspaper people, and it was probably one of my favorite hours of the day. I go on into fifth hour, which is college algebra, first semester and second semester, I have statistics, and uh, I love my teacher, so far at least. Um, I'm not the best person at math. Last year I took pre-calc and I loved my teacher then too because he was like super awesome and like helped me a lot because I, it's not that I'm bad at math per se, it just takes me a long time to do it. Like it just takes me a while to process it. And so my class is literally split down the line, all these popular people and then all the people who aren't. Like there's no in between. It's like a good majority, three-fourths of popular kids that I just despise basically and then a fourth of us who just are just like, wanting to actually do math and I sit be behind this kid who is just the most obnoxious kid and I had him in my one of my classes last year and the fact that I have to be like near him in this class is going to be awful like, I just I understand like you chose to take college algebra it is a college level course so don't complain about the workload because it's college algebra Ugh, sorry I'm just people. I don't know if I can make it 277 more days with these people. Moving on, I liked my teacher. She seemed to be a good teacher, so yeah. Um, we have sixth hour, which was English 4. I liked the teacher a lot. Again, it's a lot of popular kids and it's a lot of like kind of sketchy kids. That sounds mean. Like, they're not bad per se. It's just like 
kind of kids who don't care at all, and then I'm with all the popular kids who just talk amongst themselves, and I'm sit I literally sit in the middle, and I'm just sitting there like, oh my gosh, because we have to do icebreakers, and that's going to be a whole little segment, I think, after I describe all my classes, I'll just do it now. I hate icebreakers. You would think that we're seniors in high school, we do not need to do icebreakers to introduce ourselves, but apparently not. Apparently we need to do icebreakers, so we have to tell everyone about ourselves, like any of us actually care. English seemed good, we're reading, it's all focused on British literature, like Beowulf, that's all I remember, Frankenstein, all those kind of books. So I think it'll be a good year. I'm kind of glad I'm not taking AP just because it's one more easy class. I guess I forgot to step. After six hours, so after six whole hours, I go to lunch. Yep, that's right, I eat at 12 o'clock, and school gets out at 2.20. So that's very late. Um, I eat lunch, and lunch is fun. I have a good group of people I'm sitting with, so that's cool. I was afraid, because I didn't really know anyone going into lunch, or going into like the school year, who I was going to sit with, but I like my lunch table. Seventh hour, we have advanced marketing. I'll just do this. Seventh hour is advanced marketing. I like my advanced marketing class. Again, it's a lot of popular people. Like It's literally the entire class is popular people besides me and my friend Bethany. But, I mean, I expected that, because I know, like, Everyone in advanced marketing is in DECA, and that's all the people in DECA are popular. And then there's me and Bethany, and so we just kind of bonded together, and we're going to succeed, hopefully. So, advanced marketing is cool. There's not really that much to say about it. Then, eighth hour, our final hour of the day, I have AP Spanish Language and Culture. It was a really small class, and there's only... 16 or 15 of us in that class. Um, most of my class sizes are around 27 to 31, I think. So this is like a 15 person class and it was nice because not everyone, it's an AP and so if you're speaking fluent Spanish basically, you're supposed to be at this point. But walking in, not a lot of people were, so I wasn't as worried because I was afraid I was going to walk in and everyone was going to speak some fluent Spanish and I'd be sitting there like, yo no sé. But I think my class is good. I have four people I know in there that are my friends, and I know a lot of the other people. I'm not, like, best friends with all of them, but I'm friends. So, yeah, that was my little first day of school in review. I had a pretty good day. It's all just kind of monotonous at this point because you've gone through all the syllabus, like, information and all the school district conduct codes for 13 years of your life now, so you basically know everything front to back. But, yeah, it was a good day. Parking lot was probably the worst just because we sit there for so long. We only have one exit for over a thousand kids to get out of the parking lot. It's a disaster. But yeah, I had a pretty good day. Hopefully all of your first days, whenever they are, go well or went well. And I will see you all for Vita 14 tomorrow. Bye.